don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey guys welcome back to the channel as usual i am your host selassie Fiawe. so today we're going to talk about Callum hatsunodoi once again more advice coming in from him this time from a former ghana premier league player plays for kumasi asante kotoko in accra atupo he's a person of charles taylor he has given his thoughts on the Callum hatsunodoi being torn between playing for ghana and england he's of the opinion that a young man should not under any circumstances play for the black stars we'll listen to what he had to say for Callum hatsunodoi we're also going to talk about kevin prince boating and andrea yu kevin prince boating is set to join his home club of heather berlin where he started his career from italian Serie b side ac months after he ran out his contract ran out with them as usual subscribe if you have not click on the notification bell to get more updates so this past few weeks and after Callum Hudson Odoi arrived in the country had some fun with his good friend that is a king promise playing some great nice football in Sakumono he also proceeded to meet the president of the land Nanado Danko Akufuado who spoke to the sports minister about uh, making possible the arrangement of Hudson Odoi a play for the Black Stars. He met with the sports minister along with the GFA president and uh, it set the wheels in motion for what could possibly be a return to the Black Stars for the young man. Well, another former Ghana Black Stars player has spoken. He has had a lot of people express their opinion on this and he is of the opinion that is Charles Taylor, that the young man should under no circumstance choose Ghana over England. This is what he said. He said if Hudson Odoi is listening to me, I would advise him not to think of playing for the Ghana Black Stars. He should continue playing for England even if it is under 100. Wow. He should play for them than to play for the Black Stars. Ghana is ending career so in essence he says ghana will end his professional football career under fever's updated rules on eligibility hudson odoi will be able to switch allegiance to ghana in november next year should he not add any more appearances to his current three caps for england he would have to wait until next year in accordance with the regulations which require a player with a senior cap for one nation to wait for three years from his last international appearances to be able to change his association in a recent interview he says i think obviously when you are young you have the opportunity to play for england throughout all the years from under 15 to under 16 all the way up when they obviously came gave me the opportunity to play, to come i was in the country already it's something that i already had in my mind set on already playing for england so it was the thing obviously choosing ghana over england and at the end of the day i said i always had the right people around me they helped me make the right decision but i said ghana is my home as well so we'll see we'll see you never know so and so that was him in an interview there um, when he arrived in the country still in the country also for vacation with family and friends and this is what charles taylor <laughs> charles taylor has said to him don't ever play for the ghana black stars because they will destroy your career first of all whose career did the black stars destroy let me just know that beforehand in the comments box and if you go ahead and say or if who you are going to type or talk about is Ghanaian player kevin prince Barton, then i would say you don't know the full story kevin prince Barton's career if anything was enhanced after he played for ghana the 2010 world cup he moved to ac milan won the Italian Serie A in 2011 with AC Milan. He forfeited playing for Ghana at AFCON 2012 and 2013, stating excuses as the pitch and other stuff. He came back his way into 2014 World Cup. After so many people were against him playing, he played the final game which we beat Egypt 6-1 in November and was included in the squad by Quisia Pia. If anything, who is using who here and who ended whose career here in this opinion? If you have any other player, Ghana Black Stars did not destroy anyone's uh, career. 
if anything it enhanced the other players career in those times well recently you can talk about favoritism in call-ups that's a different situation altogether but to say that the Ghana black stars destroy your career is not the right thing to say i'm all for those who are against him joining but don't lie about <laughs> the reason why you want him to join well charles Taylor might have his own experience that validates what he's saying that the black stars will destroy your career probably they did that to him and i don't know his story fully so he's entitled to his opinion but uh, i didn't like this when i saw it charles Taylor telling him that he should not play for ghana ever because it will end his career when there is no solid evidence unless he has one to bring out for us it's quite unfortunate this is coming out but it's quite interesting as well a lot of you are against him playing or choosing ghana well i'm one who thinks that i don't i don't want him to play for ghana but there is no doubt that should he play for or choose to play for ghana he will add some quality to the side yes you add some sort of delivery into the boxes and there's some sort of supply to the strikers that we've been crying out for there is no doubt about that but the current system with Siki Akono is playing it might not suit him and he might have to change to suit the young man but let me know your thoughts on what uh, Charles Taylor said here to Callum Hudson Odor don't play for Ghana <laughs> It's quite interesting coming from a former player but let me know what you think in the comments box on this one my next story has to do with kevin prince of Boating. Uh, speaking of kevin prince Boating, he is currently a pundit uh, and uh, with covering the euros over this summer he is set to join his club side heather berlin a boyhood club and now the ghana international forward uh, kevin prince Boating, is on his way back to his boyhood club heather berlin according to Ghana Soccernet. And now the 34-year-old is currently unattached after his contract with Serie B side AC Monza expired at the end of the season. Now Ghana Soccernet are reporting that the Boateng has been in talks with a capital-based club even before moving to Monza. New Sporting Director Freddy Bobic has reviewed plans of adding experience to his youngest team in the Bundesliga after finishing 14th last season. Part of the plan is to bring Kevin Prince Boating to the club he left four years ago to join English side Tottenham Hotspur. He has since featured for Dortmund and Eintracht Frankfurt in the Bundesliga, and making 129 appearances. He won the DFB Pokal with Frankfurt before returning to Italy to sign for Sassuolo, having won the Serie A with AC Milan in 2010. These days, he works as a pundit with German television station. ARD for the Euros 20 at 20 and on the front of Andre Ayu he is a person of interest for Newcastle United as well after the Leeds United showed interest and Newcastle United also have been the latest team to show interest in signing Ghanaian uh, Ghana Black Star striker and forward a uh, captain Andre Ayu your thoughts in the comments box on everything Charles Taylor to Hudson Odoi don't play for the black stars they will end your career kevin prince boating to heather berlin newcastle united in 400 i i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day